Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get this sexy makeup look for every day. It's not too crazy, but it's not too understated either. So we're gonna prime our face with the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. And then I'm gonna go in straight with foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I've been actually really loving it ever since I got it. It has the perfect amount of coverage and it's pretty lightweight to be honest. And it holds other makeup on top top of it very very well um if you guys saw my l'oreal pro glow shit or legit video i will let you guys know how i felt about it after like i've tried it for a while and that foundation does not hold other products very well at all it doesn't hold powder well it definitely doesn't hold highlighter well at all you can barely even notice the highlighter once you put it on with that foundation with this foundation everything pops it just looks so much better and this is it's really been my go-to foundation so far the born this way foundation i absolutely love it and if you could see here it blends super super nicely and easily and it just makes the skin look really smooth which is exactly what i go for so i just blend that out with the beauty blender don't you love it? Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to go in my, with my concealer, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I don't know if you guys hear me say this before. This is the best concealer I've ever tried, ever. It holds the best. It doesn't crease. It doesn't flake off. And I don't know. It's just... It's a world-class concealer. You cannot get any better than this. And I just apply that under my eyes, on the chin, forehead, nose, and we're going to go with the nostrils today because they were looking a little red. <laughs> so then I'm just going to blend that out as well with the beauty blender. You guys get the drill. For powder today, for setting powder, I wanted to use the Laura Mercier setting powder. I don't know the exact name of it. It's really, really popular, but I'm not the biggest fan of it, I have to be honest. I just wanted to use it today just to do something different than my normal routine with the MAC, uh, what is it, Studio Fix Powder? Yeah. So I'm just baking my face with this powder. It's just, it's not the best powder out there for my skin type. Personally, it doesn't hold well and it looks um a little you know a little white a little caspery on my skin so i don't know not the biggest biggest fan but it is very lightweight and it feels like you don't have anything on which is good but there's better out there for me so for my contour, of course, I'm using the Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D. This is the best one I've ever used, and it's my favorite, and you can't get any better than it. So I'm just taking this Real Techniques Angled Highlighter Brush. I've used this before, and I use that to carve out the contour, just so I could set basically um, an outline of what I want and how far I want it to go down and how much I want, blah, 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 blah. I do that on the cheekbones and the forehead. I don't really contour my jawline. I don't feel like it's necessary. Uh, maybe it is, <laughs> but I'm just lazy and I don't know. I just do the nose, the forehead, and the cheekbones most days, which is what I'm doing here. And then what you're going to see in a second is me blending it out with a stippling brush from Sigma. Um, I think it's the F55. I'm not sure. I'll link it down below because I know you guys want to know what kind of brushes I use. But I use that. Oh, this is the Morphe brush. My bad. This is Morphe. And I don't know the name of this one or the number. I will link it below. But it's also a stippling brush. You can use any stippling brush. And it just blends everything out and diffuses it so nicely as you can see here. Um, and it's really, really easy. And it's basically foolproof. You're almost guaranteed to get a good contour every single time using this method. And I absolutely love the way my contour comes out when I do this. So I never really heard about sleek makeup until recently and I got, I don't know how I got it, but I got their Solstice palette with the two little highlighters you see here, the purple one and the more pearly one. Oh my god, it is just everything to me. It is life. I love sleek makeup. They're 
products are drugstore prices and they're just top-notch quality do you see that glow you could see that purple in there it's just such a beautiful 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 highlighting palette I'm obsessed and if you go on eBay you can still get some uh, because they're sold out on their website. You can see I just did my brows here, and for the eyes, we're gonna go with the Violet Foss Holy Grail palette. Beautiful palette. Uh, for my transition, I'm taking Brownie Points, which, which is a brownie colored brown color. <laughs> that made any sense at all. I'm just gonna blend that out with a fluffy brush and diffuse it until I like how it looks. Next, we're gonna go with Teddy Bear. I absolutely love this color. It's um, a brown color and it's matte, but it has, I think, red undertones. Super, super pretty for the crease, and I'm just gonna blend that in and then blend the two colors together with the same fluffy brush that I used for the first color. <laughs> Next, taking Crystal, um, which is this shimmery white pearly powder or shade. I'm just gonna apply that all over the lid. This is what really brings everything together and makes it look a little bit more subtle and not like a dramatic ass smoky brown eye. No, this is gonna bring it down a little bit more for daytime, which is why I say you can wear it for every day, but it still looks, you know, it still looks like something good. Like there's still a little bit of glam to it. And I don't know, it's just, oh my God, I love this combination, you guys. And I'm just adding pigment here where needed. I needed more of the teddy bear color in the crease. So I just added that in. And then I'm gonna go in and add a little bit more white powder um, just to make sure everything pops. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna be taking Glamping, which is this shimmery, coppery, red color. I can't really explain it, but it's just a beautiful color. A lot of the shades in this palette are just amazing. They're unlike any other. I love this palette so much. If you can get your hands on it, definitely do, um, because every time it comes out, it sells out, and I just love it so much. So I'm just lining my lower lash line with that, and then I'm gonna take my trusty Wet n Wild H2O Proof liquid liner and create that signature wing on the upper lash line. So for my lashes, I'm gonna do something new. I'm gonna take this primer. It's a white primer by, I mean, it's called Grand Primer. I got this in a subscription box. I forget if it was BoxyCharm or New Beauty Test Tube. It's a white primer and you apply that on your lashes and then right after you apply your mascara, which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara here. Um, it just really, really makes the lashes look 10 times better and more thick, voluminous, longer. The primer has really changed my life and if you can find it, definitely do. I'll link it down below for you guys if I can find it, which I probably will be able to. Um, so definitely look out for that if you're interested. It just changes everything and it's just what one extra step in your routine and it makes such a difference. And it's not clumpy, it's not crumbly, doesn't flake off. It really keeps the mascara on all day and just how it looked when you first put it on. You know what I mean? I love this new method of applying mascara. For my lips, I'm applying Max Chestnut Lip Pencil just to outline, and then we're gonna go in with a Violet Boss liquid lipstick, which I'm so excited about. So for the lipstick, I'm going to be using Muse, which is by Violet Boss. It's a liquid lipstick, and it's a very good dupe for Lime Crimes Cashmere. Beautiful, beautiful shade. I initially didn't like these lipsticks because I thought that they faded very easily, but I've learned that, you know, they fade a lot better than other liquid lipsticks. They don't clump up at all. They don't get crumbly or ratchet looking, feel me? They, oh my god, you see how beautiful that is and how easily it goes on? I'm in love with their liquid lipsticks. They are among the best, in my opinion. And I don't know, they just, they are so good, so smooth, so silky. It feels like nothing is there. They're not heavy. It's a really, really good formula. And I suggest you go and try them out. And I will link everything again for you down below. And 
after I put this on. That just about does it for the look. I hope you guys try this out for yourselves. You can always use other eyeshadow palettes with similar colors or whatever, and you'll get the same effect. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.